We're getting the juice level up. We're out of practice today. Been off for a few days. Everyone's been kind of taking care of their families and their, their homes. Hurricane Florence put us off schedule, so we're here on a Sunday evening to uh, have a little bit of a different Sunday, have a little practice. Usually we just do uh, workouts, some recoveries, and uh, go over our last game, but we don't have that this week. So we're going right into Marshall game plan, game uh, prep. Coach challenged these guys to come out here with extra juice today, be really focused, and just get really quality reps in today on a Sunday evening. We uh, talk a lot about our chemistry, and um, you know I've always felt like the, the best teams I've coached on, uh, the best teams I've played on, there was just a special bond that's almost spiritual, you know, where you feel that chemistry on your team, and you just, it's a love uh, that's created in the locker room and on the field for the guys you're with. And, and as a player, you want to play hard for your coach, you know, as a coach, you want to coach hard for your player, and, and as players, it hurts you to let down the guy next to you as much as it does to not make the play, you don't want to let him down. That's not going to happen because we say it. You have to spend time with each other away from football. You know, our coaches have these players over for dinner or we go out and do team building things or we bring in motivational speakers and we try to get away from the game of football and build relationships and that takes a personal investment. It's time and away from your family sometimes even uh, away from coaching but it develops a different type of relationship. It's a life relationship instead of just an athletic relationship. You can be a hell of a football team, man. You can be. How much you put in, how much you get by. You invest like a seven win team, that's what you be. Today was a team that wanted to do something special. Oh, wow. Look at you. You got a ram. What made you do that? A lot of reasons. A comfort you wouldn't believe. Luxury everywhere you look. Not to mention legendary Hemi V8 power. Maybe I should switch. More people are switching to ram trucks than ever before. And now get $1,000 bonus cash if you make the switch during ram power days. Get an average 13328 in total values on select 2019 ram 1500 models in dealer stock. Best tailgate, brisket. No, real football, y pollo asado. Hoops and wings, dude, subs. Hot dog. Chili dog. No, Dodger dog. It's gotta be crawfish. And now you talk burgers. Seven layer dip. Ribs. No contest. Hummus. Hum what? You need a hot grill and an ice cold Coke. Of course. Football and Coke, come on. It's got to be Coke. Game day. Race day. Calls for Coke. You know it. Grab yourself a Coke. It's tailgate 101. The old saying, good things come to those who wait, is just that, old. Those good things, you have to get out there and chase them. We see it in the millions of people we fly around the world, all of them, living proof. Good things come to those who go. With today's tools, all the information you need is just a click away. I'm going to show you how to remove the... And as a member of an electric cooperative, you have access to lots of valuable tools. Tools that help you do it yourself when it comes to controlling your home energy use and budget. Leaving you free to be dad.
Well, it's uh, good to have everyone back safe. Um, it was a, a wild week and still is for some. And uh, a lot of prayer has gone out and, and thoughts about the communities in our state and the surrounding states with the hurricane. And obviously here, um, we weren't hit as hard as expected. Uh, we had a good plan. I was really proud of our operation staff. Uh, a lot happened last week in a short period of time and went from preparing for a really good football team in West Virginia to all of a sudden having to put plans in place for 115 players and uh, all of our staff, our families, and you know where we're going to be, how we're going to track these guys, how we're going to make sure they're safe, and put together a really good plan and uh, ended up being a very good uh, way to handle a very tough situation. And so just thankful to get them all back here safely and thankful to our staff and all the people that helped us uh, deal with what we had to deal with. They came back yesterday. Uh, we picked things back up and got a good practice in last night, uh, preparing for a very good Marshall football team. From the start, my high school coach gave me an opportunity uh, when I didn't know what I wanted to do. And, uh, and then a gentleman that I worked for, painted houses with really, was a head coach at another high school, Scott Diebold, and he gave me a job and, and gave me a lot of responsibility. Uh, on the varsity level, on the junior varsity level, and then when I got to Drake, Rob Ash, my head coach, not only hired me to be a GA, but then promoted me to be a defensive coordinator at 25 years old, you know, and so, you know, at a young age, I was empowered by some really good people, and uh, I looked at that as a responsibility, you know, that I had to do my best for them for giving me that opportunity, and I took it personal, you know, not that I went to work for them, but I knew that my product was a reflection of their trust in me and that I wanted to do right by them. You know, I was eating in the dorm and I didn't have any money, I mean, but I loved where I was, what I was doing. I was having a great time. I was learning a lot. Uh, it was probably more challenging when I got married with Sarah and we were GAs at Southern Cal. Uh, had a baby on the way, Jacob, and my GA ship was up. I was out of job and so that was pretty scary you know and, and you're hoping that you can find a full-time gig and, and so being unemployed with a son on the way living in California at the time I mean that was that was tough and fortunately I got hired at Montana and Coach Glenn um, gave me my first shot you know after that and that, and that was a big deal. One of the four captains for the Wolf Pack and trying to put them on top here Catch is made out by Thayer. Thomas breaks the tackles and it's in the end zone. Touchdown, Wolfpack. Well, I came here with a chip on my shoulder. Um, I felt like I was sort of under-recruited out of high school. No one gave me an offer. I didn't have an offer for anywhere. Um, I didn't even get a preferred walk-on from like the smaller schools either. My junior year, I got hurt, played six games because I broke my collarbone, so I didn't really have a lot of film. I, I came into high school 5'5", 120 pounds. So um, I was already behind the spectrum of the recruiting. I got to my senior year, I had some baseball offers. I was just gonna play my last year of senior high school football and just have fun with it, you know? I had Coach Holt, Torrey Holt is my receiver coach, Dwayne Washington is my head coach, and they thought I was a really good football player. They didn't really get, I didn't really get to prove myself the year before because I got hurt. So they, had, they just told me to go out there and play the best of my ability. I had a really good senior season. Um, we were playing Sanderson one game my senior season. Um, coach Dorn comes to the game to watch my brother, Aline. Trent Penix, uh, Ricky Person, and some other guys that were playing. And, um, you know, I've, I've had like 300 yard games leading up to that game. And I knew, you know, if I just go out there and keep doing what I'm doing, maybe I'd catch his eye. And I'd go out there and have over 100 yards again and a touchdown maybe or two, I forget. But I just know, I, uh, leading, walking up to the, the locker room after the game, you know, Coach Holt brings the phone over. He, Coach Dorn texted him about the game and was like, that I, I was impressed by everybody. That number five really stuck out. Who is he? What's his name? You know, does he have any offers? And uh, Coach Holt was like, he's a just a three-sport athlete. He's a hard worker. Um, and then that just started from there. I gained almost 20 pounds. Um, I gotten a lot faster and it's gotten a lot smarter. Uh, my football IQ has gone up a lot. Just really took advantage of my redshirt year. I played scout team, put good, uh, went against really good guys on there, and I just felt like that helped me, you know, turn into the player I am today and the player I'm trying to be. Finley. Caught! Thomas, what a catch! Just to have coaches trust means they believe in you and they know that you can get the job done and they wouldn't put you out there if they didn't feel like you couldn't do it. So 
I feel like having the coaches trust is one of the biggest things when playing college football, um, knowing that, that they think that you can go out there and play, and then and that gives you, um, you know, confidence to go out there and make plays. So um, I know Coach Doran had a meeting with me before the, before the first game. He could tell I was like a little nervous, and he was like, you know, if we didn't trust you, we wouldn't put you out there. So you got really nothing to worry about. Just go out there and play the best of your ability, and that's all you can do. Thayer earned Ryan's trust with that first catch, right? And uh, our slot's such an integral part in our pass game, and not having Jacoby in there, I mean, it was inevitable he was going to get opportunities, and then where it went from there. Uh, and he took advantage of the opportunity. And I think for a quarterback to know that he can trust a wide out and throw him a tough ball and that he's going to fight to get it. After the first time I scored, like, it felt like a dream. I don't even remember the feeling. I can't explain the feeling. But the second time, everything sort of slowed down for me because I had already did it before. Um, and it, I mean, it was one of the best feelings I've ever had. It was just everything coming together, like, you know, all the hard work and like to be, be able to score the first touchdown of the season for the NC State, a walk on, a kid from a local kid. It just meant everything to me. And um, I just give all the credit to all my coaches and people who helped me throughout this process. You know, it was just a great feeling to be able to score the first touchdown and even have two touchdowns right now. And just, I'm trying to you know, keep the push and continue to have the success I've had in the first two games. Just a look. Bootleg and McKay Ooh. will score. <laughs> Matthew McKay, the redshirt freshman from Raleigh in the end zone here in the final 72 seconds. I feel like I'm on the way there. Uh, definitely just working on my reads and everything, but I feel like from when I first came here, I feel way more comfortable in the offense now, just putting it into different gears, but I know I still have a lot more work to do. I definitely just trust the process because when you go back to all the work you put in, all the nights, early mornings and everything, I feel like you're on this field for a reason, so you just have to go out and execute, and most importantly, just believe in yourself. Some difficult times, especially when you have the down days, I feel like you just gotta keep going. That Things might not seem how you want it to seem, but at the end of the day, you just have to put your head down and just keep working. Because one day, the opportunity is going to come. It's either you're going to take advantage of it or not. I think Matt's um, done a very good job of understanding it as a process and maturing and growing. I mean, he's still relatively young for his age. You know, he, he understands that uh, it takes time to get better. And it, it's, not, uh, it's not a quick fix. It's not instant. Uh, oatmeal, it, it, you got to work at it and, and make mistakes and fix them and then go back to work and make mistakes and fix them and he's done a really good job of understanding the process. The system. If you want to play in the slot this week, I can guarantee you all ACC apparently. You'll get some sort of ACC award if you play in the slot. What's up Juice? You know, when Coach Malzahn got uh, hired at Arkansas State, he trusted me enough to, to hire me and put me on the field as the running backs coach and special teams coordinator. Um, obviously, that was a lot of trust. When Brian Harson got uh, the job at Arkansas State to name me the co-offensive coordinator and allow me to call plays, obviously he believed in me and had a lot of trust in me. And then when Coach Dorn hired me here, um, you know, at my age, uh, to trust in me and give me the offense and, and let us do what we're going to do. Watch that my coach. Let's go, Ryan. Really good concentration today. Great, great focus. Yeah, it's the only time I ever talk to you. I know. You, I know. It's because I, I don't like rejection. So once you clear it, get some depth. Just be ready for him to put the ball on your front hand, circling the defense, okay? All right, now he's gonna, it's gonna take some time. Okay, it's gonna take some time, here we go. You don't wanna disappoint them. You wanna work your butt off to make sure that uh, their trust was warranted and it was, uh, it was right to, to believe in you. Being consistent, uh, being dependable, um, dependability is far more important than ability. You know, can, can they be depended on to, to do exactly what you coach them to do and ask them to do? Can they be here on time? Will they be focused in meetings? Will they spend the time in preparation? Um, when they do that, then you trust them. It's the belief that, the, that you can count on somebody else, uh, that whatever your expectation of them, they're going to get it done for you. You can get better today, regardless of what happens later. you got to get better today.
okay? And don't waste it because your mind's other places. Don't waste it because your mind's other places. Let's go, CJ, you got him. Let's go. Let's go. Best tailgate, brisket. No, real football y pollo asado. Hoops and wings. Dude, subs. Hot dogs. Chili dog. No, Dodger dog. It's gotta be crawfish. Now you're talking burgers. Seven layer dip. Ribs. No contest. Hummus. Um, what? You need a hot grill and an ice cold Coke. Of course. Football and Coke, come on. It's got to be Coke. Game day. Race day. Calls for Coke. You know it. Grab yourself a Coke. It's tailgate 101. The Learfield Directors' Cup, the highly recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence in this prestigious annual award through thedirectorscup.com, USA Today, or at L Directors' Cup on Twitter or Facebook. Learfield Directors' Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics since 1993. The Carolinas are family, which is why all of us at Ford Motor Company are committed to helping our family of dealers, customers, all Carolinians restore their lives. If you've been affected by Hurricane Florence, we're offering you the same pricing as our Ford family of employees. Plus, you won't need to make any payments until next year. Ford family of employee pricing, plus no payments until 2019, helping to get our Carolina families on the road to recovery. With today's tools, all the information you need is just a click away. I'm going to show you how to remove the... And as a member of an electric cooperative, you have access to lots of valuable tools. Tools that help you do it yourself when it comes to controlling your home energy use and budget. Leaving you free to be dad. Welcome to Huntington, West Virginia. It is a uh, big pleasure to have you with us tonight for what should be a very competitive game between NC State and the Thundering Herd of Marshall. We're at Joan Edwards Stadium, which uh, just happens to be one of the toughest venues in all of college football. It's a place where Marshall University wins 83% of the time. But there are some other factors that make this matchup uh, very interesting as well. It's the Pac's first road game of the season. And it comes after last week's cancellation of a home game against West Virginia because of Hurricane Florence. At the end of the day, the coaches are going to coach, but it's the players team to run. What they let happen in that locker room when we're not around, what they let happen in the dorms, what they let happen at night, how much they make each other do things from a film standpoint, there's nothing we can do about that. You know, the culture that we have is excellent, but it, be, it becomes completely different culture when it's empowered and run by the players to the way the coaches would want to see it. And that takes time. I mean, there's going to be some failure in there, you know. But when you have excellent leadership like we do, uh, and those guys start to get frustrated with some things they see and then they step up and take hold of it, it helps a lot. Everybody owning up to their responsibility. Every single group doing their job, having fun doing it, straining, Finishing, focusing. Yes, so we have to come to West Virginia to go home without a win. And Marshall will rush three. Finley has time. Fires over the middle and it is caught. One back pistol. Finley to throw. Guns it over the middle. Caught by Thayer Thomas and he hung on. From the left hash out of the hold of A.J. Cole. High snap, ball down. Kick on its way. It is perfect. 3 nothing. NC State. High end over end. And Davis will take it about two yards deep. He's going to bring it out. Up the right hash, 10-yard line. Middle of the field, the 15-20. Cuts to the left side, 30. Down the sideline, brought down at the 40-yard line. They will rush uh, four. Here's Green in trouble, circling all the way back to his 35. Turns and heaves it toward the stands. They yeah, wait for you to engage in them. They, they, they absorbing that head. Head. Finley will look to the right now. Throws over the middle. Caught by Harmon. Finley fakes the handoff. Fakes the fly sweep. Now he'll fire the bomb long over the middle. Harmon's open. Diamond catch got it. Inside the five, down near the three yard line. Oh, uh, we, got, hey, we got six more drills right here. Hey, we got six more drills right here. Hey. Hand off to Glassby. Dives for the end zone. Over the right side. Did he make it? Yes. Touchdown. Wolf back. Everybody tight except one wide receiver. Here's a handoff going to Johnson. He's uh, spilled by Tanner Engel. 
Here's Green, play action faking, has time. He'll fire it long over the middle, open as Williams got it. 40 yard line of state, 35, 30, 20, 15, 10, five. This is going all the way for a touchdown for Marcel Williams and Marshall. And the thundering herd is right back in it. Play action faking as Finley rolls away from it, fires upfield, caught by Myers, 35, 40, 45. Here is Finley throwing long left. He's got his man. Inside the 35, it's Emeka Amizi at the 34-yard line. Finley with a quick throw over the middle. It is caught by Amizi in traffic. What a catch by Amizi. You ready for the blitzes to come in? They come in right now. Every time I try to snap the ball. From the 35-yard line for Marshall, they run fly sweep action. Handoff goes to Davis, and he's met and dropped right at the line of scrimmage. Nice play there by Andreas Bryant. And the pack on a delayed blitz, and going down is Green. The pack with a sack. Finley under center, play action faking, drops back, here comes a rush, fires it long down the right side, open as Harmon, he's got it in Marshall territory at about the 35 yard line. Finley out of a one back pistol, handoff to, to uh, Gillespie over the right side, turns the corner, he's down the sideline and forced out of bounds. A handoff to Gillespie over the right side, a little bit of a hole, Gillespie on the touchdown. It's too easy out there, for real dog. Here is Green flushed, rolling right. He's going to tuck it and run and runs out of and actually tackled. We've got 56 seconds left in the half. Here's Green to throw. Airs it out left side. Caught. Green calls his count. Two wide outs to the left. Handoff is fake. Fumble. Ball is fumbled. It's loose on the deck. It's still loose and it's picked up by State. 40 yard line out to the 45 goes Nick McLeod. Keep the juice. Keep the juice. Coming on a big blitz. Finley unloads quickly down the right sideline. Harmon's got it at the 10-yard line. I, I need to get that man. They need to check his blood. Good snap. Ball is down. Kick by Dunn is on its way. Plenty of distance. Good again. 23 to 7 as the clock goes to zero. That is the end of the first half, and a nice way to cap a first half of football for State. All right, hadn't been none that we hadn't seen. Got to move around. Move around, move around, move around, move around. All right, can't just sit there. All right, you sit there, you're playing 10 yards off, they're going to throw it down. If you come up and get caught late, they gonna, they're taking it vertical. In the second half, <laughs> with this lead and the weather coming, so you got to have ball security. Okay, you got to have ball security, and we got to win up front the trenches. Four quarter football team, baby. Four right. quarters, what you come here to do? We got another half to play. Right. Take care of this ball on defense. We need to hit this quarterback. They fake the handoff to him. Now Green throws down the right side. Davis is open. 40 yard line, 35 30. 25 20. Here's the shotgun snap. Handoff. King. Met and dropped in his own backfield. What a job by James Smith Williams to get over there. Green looks. Here comes the rush. He floats it out left side. Caught by Davis again. Spins around one man to the 20 and out of bounds near the 15 yard line. So Marshall will attempt a 32 yard field goal from the left hash off the foot of Rohrwasser. And Justin Rohrwasser knocks it through. Hey, get ready, Morrison. Let's go, Tyler. Get ready, Dave. Here's the kickoff. Riley will take it two yards deep. He'll bring it up the right hash. Crosses the 10. And it's whacked out. Fumbles the football. Picked up by Marshall at the 20 yard line. And this is going to be a touchdown. Finley takes the snap on second and long. He will throw it left wide open to Steph Lewis, 40-yard line of Marshall down to the 30. And here is a delayed blitz. Finley fires over the middle, wide open is Emeka Amizi. He's got a touchdown. Touchdown State. They will rush three, now four, now five on a delayed blitz. Here's Green scrambling, rolling wide to the right, toward the sideline, throws up the sideline, intercepted by Moorhead, 50-yard line to the 40, down the left side of the 30, cuts it back, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Wolfpack! Marshall first down and 10, and it's 25, driving from right to left. Here's Green throwing long down the right sideline. It is it's against Obiallo. The ball was intercepted. Kind of landed right in his stomach, and he was able to corral it. <laughs> ball game over, and State earns a big road win in one of the toughest venues in college football, but the herd is not going to be able to celebrate tonight. Final score, State 37, Marshall 20. We've all been there. Gridlock. But this is the 2018 Nissan Rogue. It's got Pro Pilot Assist. And can stop and start on its own to help keep your distance from that car ahead.
and can help keep you centered in your lane. Get a low $199 per month lease or get 0% financing for 60 months on Rogue. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Best tailgate, brisket. No, real football, y pollo asado. Hoops and wings. Dude, subs. Hot dog. Chili dog. No, Dodger dog. It's gotta be crawfish. Now you're talking burgers. Seven layer dip. Ribs. No contest. Hummus. Um, what? You need a hot grill and an ice cold Coke. Of course. Football and Coke, come on. It's got to be Coke. Game day. Race day. Calls for Coke. You know it. Grab yourself a Coke. It's tailgate 101. With today's tools, all the information you need is just a click away. I'm going to show you how to remove the... And as a member of an electric cooperative, you have access to lots of valuable tools. Tools that help you do it yourself when it comes to controlling your home energy use and budget. Leaving you free to be dad. This university is on a march to achieve our full potential. We help empower each other to dream big and do big. That's why I really love our slogan, Think and Do. When you get these folks from NC State, they don't mind rolling up their sleeves and getting their hands dirty. Companies want to hire NC State students. We make something impossible possible. We've been equipped to go out there and do great things and to change the world. It's in the DNA of the place. We're here to think and do the extraordinary. This portion of One with Wolfpack Football is presented by Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. Bringing real Coke taste with zero sugar and zero calories to Wolfpack fans everywhere. How about that, Wolfpack? Yeah! Yeah! 3-0? Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, I'm proud of you guys. That was a good team win. <laughs> good focus. Ups and downs in the game every time we had an answer. Every time. Well, there's an offense responding, defense with takeaways. You have people in your life that try to tell you one thing or another, and um, I mean, for me, I feel like I was always trusting the process. I feel like I've done a good job of, you know, trusting in God's plan and trusting in the plan that I try to set my, my future with by coming here and getting a good education, um, being around great coaches and great teammates. You know, these coaches are the best in the country. I feel like they're really good with uh, just, you know, teaching the game of football and also relating to all the, all the kids. It doesn't matter. Like, that's the one thing. I talked to some other kids that walked on different programs and they said they don't even get to run out with the teams and the games. And I'm like, they don't do that at all here. They treat everyone the same. Like, you get all the gear, you get everything the same as a scholarship player. It's not really talked about who's a walk-on, who's not a walk-on. At the end of the day, you guys are all working together and you have each other's backs. So you just have to trust one another to know that they'll get the job done. And most importantly, you get the job done, not for yourself, but for them also. You know, I, I want to do my best. I'm intrinsically motivated more than I am extrinsically, you know, and I, I really believe in that, trying to be better at what I do every day, not just as a head coach, but when I was an assistant, when I was an athlete. You know, I just didn't tolerate not being, you know, a grinder. And, and for me, that's kind of how I survived. I wasn't the greatest athlete. You know, I had to outwork people and out-tough people, and, and I've had to do the same thing, you know, in the classroom, had to do the same thing in this profession. and. That's what I am and that's what I want our football team to look like.